Since the beginning of competitive Pokemon, weather has always been a dominant force in the game. Year after year, competitive players are always looking for new ways to either use or counter weather. Now, when it comes to weather, there are four main weather conditions that can play a pivotal role in any competitive format. But by far, the strongest weather condition is rain. With rain being a strong center point to a lot of tournament winning teams, I decided to dive deeper to find out the best competitive Pokemon for rain teams. Now, in order for us to create a list for best rain Pokemon, we first have to know what rain is and what it does in battle. Rain is a weather condition that lasts for five turns whenever it is set. However, you can make rain last eight turns if the rain setter you are using is holding the damp rock item. When rain is on the field, it has many different effects that changes how the battle is played. For starters, rain buffs water moves, giving it a 50% increase in damage. On the other hand, it nerfs fire moves, decreasing their damage by 50%. This effect is probably the best rain has to offer, as it makes water Pokemon extremely strong offensively. Unlike most weathers, rain also boosts the accuracy of a few moves, most notably thunder and hurricane. Both Thunder and Hurricane are two very strong special attacking moves. Their only downfall is their abysmal accuracy stat. With Rain present on the field, Pokemon who utilize these moves can flourish, making them do big time damage while never missing. When it comes to ability, Rain will activate four. These abilities include Dry Skin, Rain Dish, Hydration, and we save the best for last, Swift Swim. Swift Swim is really just a superior rain ability, as it doubles the Pokemon's speed when it's in the rain. None of the other rain abilities even come close to the power of Swift Swim, so as the president of the Genes channel, I'm making an executive decision to not talk about these other abilities. With rain, there's really only two ways of setting it. One is going to be the ability Drizzle, and the other is going to be the move Rain Dance. Now, obviously, in Generation 8, you can set the rain by using the move Max Geyser, but since the Dynamax days are long gone, there's really no point of me including this as a main way of setting rain. Now that we have acquired our degree in Rain 101, we can finally move on to my list for best competitive Pokemon for rain team. As a disclaimer, this list will feature six Pokemon with three honorable mentions. And just so we're clear, we're only talking about these Pokemon from a competitive standpoint. So if your favorite Pokemon is not on this list, do not come at me with torches and pitchforks. Starting off at number six, we have the Dragon Seahorse of Johto, Kingdra. In the early generations of competitive Pokemon, Kingdra was top dog when it came to rain sweepers. Kingdra is a water and dragon type Pokemon, which is actually really powerful. Before the introduction to fairy type Pokemon in generation six, Kingdra was only weak to dragon moves. This explains why Kingdra was so strong in the early days of competitive rather than the present day. What separates Kingdra over the top of other rain sweepers is its ability Swift Swim. Like we talked about earlier in the video, Swift Swim doubles the speed of the Pokemon when it's in the rain. This makes Kingdra outspeed some of the fastest Pokemon in the format and even Pokemon holding the Choice Scarf item. Kingdra's stats are pretty even across the board and its special attack is nothing crazy, but Kingdra's move pool makes up for it significantly. Being able to learn stab moves such as Hydra Pump, Scald, Surf, and Draco Meteor allows Kingdra to do massive amounts of damage. On top of that, in the rain, Kingdra's water moves get boosted by 50%. And let's not forget, most competitive Kingdras are usually holding a Life Orb, Choice Specs, or Mystic Water to multiply that damage even more. For a coverage move, Kingdra can learn Hurricane, which is a base 110 flying move that has a 30% chance at confusing the opponent. In the rain, this move will never miss, making it a top tier option for any Kingdra build. Since we are talking about this Pokemon from a competitive standpoint, it is worth mentioning its usage across tournaments. Back in Generation 5, we've seen Kingdra at its best, winning back-to-back -back national level tournaments. We've also seen this Pokemon get a fair amount of usage in the later days of Sword and Shield. With all that said, Kingdra is a great competitive option when it comes to rain teams and I believe sometime in the future, we will see this Pokemon back in action in the metagame. Our number five Pokemon is a fan favorite from the original 151. Raichu. Now I know what you guys are thinking, Jeans, this Pokemon isn't even a water type and its stats aren't that great. I do agree with its stats being a dumpster fire, however, this Pokemon is a perfect support Pokemon for any rain team. Raichu has access to its hidden ability, Lightning Rod, which forces all single target electric moves to attack Raichu. These attacks will do zero damage and instead grant a plus one special attack boost to Raichu. With rain teams being stacked to the brim with water type, this ability alone can cover a huge weakness all rain teams have. Just like Raichu's ability being very helpful on rain teams, its move pool follows suit. For the most part, in competitive, Raichu almost always runs fake out which is one of the best priority moves in the whole game. This move not only goes first, but it makes whatever Pokemon hit by it flinch for that turn. This is great because it allows your ally Pokemon either set up or do some damage without having to worry about the Pokemon Raichu attack. Fake Out isn't the only great supporting move Raichu learns, as it has helping hand to boost ally Pokemon damage, Bolt Switch for some damage and repositioning, and let's not forget about everybody's favorite move, Nuzzle. Nuzzle is a move that hits like a paper towel, but it has a 100% paralyze rate. 
With this move, Raichu can easily become one of the most annoying Pokemon on the field, paralyzing everything in sight and granting your team speed control. Competitively, we've seen Raichu used in tournaments across every generation, but its best feat was back in 2016 when Wolfie used it to win Worlds. On this team, Raichu was a perfect support Pokemon next to Primal Groudon, allowing this Pokemon to dominate the tournament. Now I know Raichu will never be a game-breaking Pokemon, but its sheer impact it has by supporting rain teams allow me easily to put it on this list. The number 4 Pokemon on this list is another electric type. From Generation 5, we have the legendary genie, Thunderous. When it comes to Thunderous, this Pokemon has two forms, its Incarnate and its Therian form. Both are used for different styles of play, but for this list, we are going to be talking about Thunderous Incarnate, as it's the better of the two in rain. When it comes to Thunderous, especially in Generation 5, you could argue that this Pokemon is one of the greatest of all time. But you have to remember, I'm ranking these Pokemon based on rain teams, which is one of the reasons why I do not have it in my top three. Thunderous is an electric and flying type Pokemon, which minimizes its weaknesses, only taking double damage to rock and ice type moves. On top of that, Thunderous stats are insane, having great speed, special attack, and attack. With those three base stats already being exceptionally high, a lot of competitive players choose to invest EVs in HP, defense, and special defense to make this Pokemon bulky and do big damage at the same time. For abilities, Thunderous has access to one of the best supporting abilities of all time, Prankster. Prankster increases the priority of all status moves, making any supporting move that Thunderous use go first. With supporting moves such as Rain Dance, Taunt, Thunder Wave, Eerie Impulse, Swagger, and Scary Face, Thunderous can be used for almost every situation. Like I mentioned earlier, Thunderous has a great special attacking stat. To be exact, it is at base 125, making this Pokemon a huge offensive threat. Thunderous not only learns Thunder, but it also has access to its signature move, Wild Bolt Storm. This move is a base 100 electric move that has 80 accuracy that hits both opponents. And similar to Thunder, it will never miss in the rain. Not only can this Pokemon set the rain by itself with Rain Dance, it can fully utilize it with big time stab moves. From 2011 to 2016, Thunderous saw an insane amount of usage across the Pokemon World Championships. To put in perspective of just how strong Thunderous was at this time, it won Worlds back in 2011 and 2015 and even placed second in 2012 and 2013. After 2015, the usage of Thunderous took a dip, but it later reclaimed the fame by winning another World Championship in 2022. I know, I know, Thunderous is a big deal, but with this Pokemon not being on any rain teams to win any of its World Championships, I've decided the Pokemon above them are better for this list. So before we talk about our top three best competitive Pokemon for rain teams, I want to go over three honorable mentions. All three of these Pokemon are phenomenal in the rain. And to be honest, I had a tough time making this list. So if you feel like these Pokemon should have been on the list, feel free to roast me in the comments. Our first honorable mention goes out to Zapdos. Out of all the Pokemon that we talked about in today's video, I believe Zapdos is the most versatile. As a legendary Pokemon, Zapdos has great stats and access to a great move pool. In competitive, we've seen Zapdos run a Tailwind support build, using items such as Leftovers, Safety Goggles, and Citrus Berry. We've also seen Zapdos pair up with a Rain Setter to become a heavy hitter, with moves like Thunder, Hurricane, while holding the Life Orb or Choice Specs. Throughout the years, Zapdos has always been a consistent Pokemon in the competitive scene, having a high usage rate across many generations. Like I said, I went back and forth trying to decide which Pokemon I should put on this list, but I ended up ultimately deciding the legendary bird from Kanto fell short. Our next honorable mention is a newer Pokemon, who in the future I can see as being one of the greatest of all time. It's Poe from Kung Fu Panda. Man, I love that movie. This Pokemon is Urshifu, and we're talking about Urshifu Rapid Strike. Urshifu was released in the first DLC of Pokemon Sword and Shield, and ever since it's been released, it has been terrorizing the competitive scene. Part of what makes Urshifu so great is its ability, Unseen Fist. This allows Urshifu to hit through Protects with contact moves. With Protect being the most used move, you can see why this ability is broken. Just like Urshifu's signature ability, its signature move Surging Strikes is just as broken. This move is a base 25 water move that hits the opponent three times, and at the same time, it is always a critical hit. Now, I know this move kind of sounds weak, but let me break it down to show you guys just how strong it is. So for starters, this move is base 25 power, but we have to add the critical hit multiplier. On top of that, it's a stab move, so it gets another multiplier on top of that. Can't forget about the item, Urshifu is usually holding the Life Orb, Choice Band, or Mystic Water. Now to top it all off, put Urshifu in the rain and it can pretty much delete any Pokemon it wants. Urshifu has only been around for two World Championships, and it won the first Worlds in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. With this Pokemon being insanely strong any way you use it, it is especially strong in the rain, which is why I had to mention it in this video. Our final honorable mention goes out to my personal favorite rain setter, Pelipper. This derpy looking big beak bird has the ability drizzle, so every time it steps on the field, the rain begins. As much as I want this Pokemon to be better, its stats are 
how can I put this nicely? absolutely hot garbage. But don't let that fool you. With terrible stats comes great moves for Pelipper. With access to Tailwind, Y-Guard, and Helping Hand, Pelipper can grant speed control for your team, boost ally Pokemon damage, and protect your team from double hitting moves. With a mediocre special attack stat, Pelipper is saved by two stab moves, Hurricane and Hydro Pump. Pelipper's Drizzle ability helps these rather inconsistent moves by boosting Hurricane's accuracy and boosting Hydro Pump's damage. Pelipper has always been a solid rain option in competitive, and to be honest, we have been seeing more of Pelipper in Scarlet and Violet than we ever have. During Worlds in 2023, Pelipper was actually used a good amount, and ended up coming in 5th. And now with Worlds 2024 right around the corner, who knows, will we see Pelipper win its first ever World Championship? It is finally time to reveal our top 3 best competitive rain Pokemon. In my opinion, these Pokemon stand above the rest, not just on pure strength, but their history in competitive. Hopping its way into the number 3 slot is the frog Pokemon Politoed. This frog is a pure water type, and its stats are weird to say the least. Its speed is meh, and its special attack is decent, but where Politoed separates itself is in its HP, defense, and special defense. Just like Pelipper, Politoed has the ability Drizzle, allowing it to set the rain. Outside of restrictive formats, Politoed is hands down the best rain setter. Its only competition would be Pelipper, and to be honest, Politoed's stats are just better, and it has a better supporting move pool for rain teams, so there's really not that much of a competition. Some of these supporting moves include Icy Wind, Hypnosis, Swagger, Encore, and my favorite one for Politoed, Helping Hand. Typically, when using Politoed, you want to pair it up with a Rain Sweeper, and by using Helping Hand onto that Rain Sweeper, you can pretty much guarantee a KO on whatever Pokemon you want. Obviously, Politoed doesn't just use supporting moves. It can do respectable damage with moves such as Hydro Pump, Surf, Ice Beam, and let's not forget about Scald. Before Generation 9 took Scald away from us, this was Politoed's favorite move, as it did great damage, and on top of that had a 30% chance at burning. The combination of burn on physical attackers and Politoed's natural special defense bulk made this Pokemon a tough one to get off the field, so much that you would often see this Pokemon run Parasong, which is a weird move that takes out every Pokemon on the field in three turns unless they swap out. From a tournament standpoint, we've seen Politoed as a top tier rain supporter, running a great moveset of Protect Encore, Scald, and Helping Hand. You would also see Politoed holding items such as Jet Button, Citrus Berry, and Leftovers, which actually complemented its playstyle really well. Although Politoed has never won a Pokemon World Championship, it has been amazing in every format to this day. Between that and being the most used rain setter in all of Pokemon, it would be a crime not to put this Pokemon on our list. Our runner up on this list is an all time favorite of mine. From Generation 3, we have one of the best rain sweepers ever, Ludicolo. Not only is this Pokemon a big time force and competitive, it also dances and has a dope lily pad sombrero. In all seriousness, Ludicolo is a water and grass type Pokemon. This is good because it has a 4 times resistance to water moves, making it a very powerful Pokemon with and against rain teams. Just like the other rain sweeper on this list, Kingdra, Ludicolo has access to Swift Swim, which doubles its speed in the rain. With this incredible speed boost and water moves such as Surf, Hydro Pump, and Scald, Ludicolo becomes a KO machine, outspeeding the competition and doing big time damage to Pokemon that don't resist water. Since Ludicolo is also a grass type Pokemon, it has access to two very strong grass type moves. Energy Ball and Giga Drain. Energy Ball is the stronger of the two, but Giga Drain has an HP recovery effect, allowing Ludicolo to stay on the field a little bit longer. All the moves that we mentioned are great, but by far the best move that Ludicolo learns is Fake Out. Earlier in the video, we talked about what Fake Out does, and as a refresher, it's a priority move that you can only use on your first turn to make the opponent flinch. With Ludicolo running this move alone, it opens up a range of options for your team to build off of. I just realized I haven't talked about Ludicolo's stats yet, and to be honest, they're kind of average, which is one of the reasons why I like this Pokemon so much. Its two best stats are its special defense sitting at 100 and its special attack at 90. It also has 80 base HP and the rest of its stats stand at 70. Having average stats is actually great for the game because it makes this Pokemon not completely broken where it's annoying to see and it's not weak enough where it's relevant. It kind of has that perfect middle ground, so big shout out to Game Freak on this one. In a tournament setting, Ludicolo's most used moveset would be Fake Out, Hydro Pump, Energy Ball, and Ice Beam to deal with Dragon types. For items, we've mostly seen the Assault Vest as it pairs up with Ludicolo's natural special defense. We've seen Ludicolo's best performance back in 2009 and 2010 where it won back-to-back -back Pokemon World Championships. This is a huge accomplishment in itself considering there is only a select group of Pokemon that have won two or more world titles. Outside of Worlds, Ludicolo won three regional tournaments and one international tournament all in 2018. 
And the following year, in 2019, Ludicolo stayed on top, adding another three tournament wins at the regional level. Now, Ludicolo has never been a broken Pokemon or a crazy strong meta Pokemon, but it has always been an elite Pokemon in the rain, which is why I have no problem giving it the silver medal. We are down to our final spot, and all that's left to do is announce the best competitive Pokemon for rain team. On this Pokemon, we talked about rain setters, rain sweepers, and even bulky rain Pokemon. But what we didn't mention is a Pokemon that is all the above. Our number one slot for best competitive rain Pokemon obviously goes to Psyduck. I'm just playing, we all knew it was Kyogre. Not only is Kyogre the best rain Pokemon, in my opinion, it is the best restricted Pokemon. When it comes to Kyogre, there are two forms. There's regular Kyogre that we all know and love, and then there's primal Kyogre, which is pretty much just Kyogre on steroids. For starters, both Kyogre forms have insane stats, making them crazy strong offensively and hard to get off the field due to their natural bulk. They also have amazing rain abilities in Drizzle and Primordial Sea, granting them weather control whenever they step on the field. Kyogre has access to two of the strongest water moves of all time, Water Spout and Origin Pulse. Water Spout is a broken water move that does more damage the more HP the user has, and Origin Pulse is a slightly weaker move, but it doesn't rely on Kyogre's HP for damage. By running both of these moves, Kyogre poses a huge threat as it also gets a 50% damage boost in the rain. Now, Kyogre isn't just a one-trick pony, it is actually a very versatile Pokemon, being able to work alongside a Tailwind user using a damage boosting item to make it a speedy sweeper, or in Trick Room with the Assault Vest to make it a bulky attacker. Now, Kyogre is a restricted Pokemon, which means it's not always legal for competitive play. With that being said, Kyogre has only been legal for four Pokemon World Championships, and it won two of them, one in 2010, and one in 2016. On top of those Pokemon World Championships, Kyogre has also won 17 regional level tournaments, without a doubt making this Pokemon the greatest rain Pokemon of all time. Well, there you have it, my list for best competitive rain Pokemon. Did you agree or disagree with any of the rankings? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm also curious, do you guys think we'll ever see a better rain Pokemon than Kyogre? Personally, I doubt it, but maybe one day it will stop haunting us every time it's legal in restricted formats.